Hello, Thailand is so magnificent. I am here for a long time writing and thinking and nevertheless it is every day a surprise and every day so wonderful. I think this is one of the best countries to have even a holiday and this is actually bringing me to a point that I want to talk about uh, with you today. It is a little bit strange because in the first moment those two topics don't seem to be connected. It is uh, the question where to make my next holiday and the question what is the right place to exhibit, perform as an artist and what choices should I take, What, how should I position myself, uh, how, how should I uh, set the goals in the art market to proceed with my, my uh, art career and those two topics don't see don't have much in common on the first place but let me explain for a moment Thailand is really the best country for a holiday but is it really for everyone the best country to have holidays let's say for example you don't like spicy food you have problems with why spicy food then you will come here and you will miss all the wonderful things that you can eat here for many people this is the best food that you can get uh, worldwide because it is so tasty but for some people it is not the right choice and on the other hand not everyone is fitting actually in this uh, country this is really a very peaceful cultivated country and some people that are perhaps loud and and very um, very about making everything about themselves you yeah, know even are aggressive they are not really fitting into this country and there are then conflicts so on the one hand you are perhaps not for you it's not the right choice to travel for a holiday to Thailand and on the other side you are not the right fit for a holiday in Thailand and the same goes for the choices you are making where to exhibit how to progress uh, with with your artistic career because not every choice that you can pick what is out there in there as a possibility to present your art or to perform as an artist or to offer your uh, artistic skills and abilities as a uh, artist or creative are not right for you so there is to think that you should do whatever it is possible is the wrong choice because not everything is fitting for you and you are not the right fit and to just use every choice and every opportunity possibility you are having will end up in absolute overwhelm and uh, it's not only overwhelm but it can also end in not working out so in time you are becoming frustrated and then perhaps you will lose the interest in, in actually producing art and, uh, and, 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 and trying to develop an artistic career. When you are looking what successful artists are doing, they are really taking the necessary time and the necessary uh, step, step stones to develop their art career. Let's say you are an artist uh, uh, and you are beginning right now and you want to try and experiment with your abilities and so on, so you are producing a whole pos your whole possibilities what you can do as an artist. Would this art would be it really when you could have your dream to exhibit your museum in the highest possible museum there is in the Louvre. Would it be really the choice to cluster the walls of the Louvre museum with all the possibilities, all these experiments just to show the plenty? This museum is all about um, conservating and showing uh, the, the essence of our culture. It is not a place more to experiment with your art. So the audience that is going there and uh, and uh, want to see perhaps uh, the essence of the Greek culture, the essence of the uh, Renaissance, then suddenly they are seeing this, this kind of experiment. So this is not also the right kind of, uh, of audience for you. And on the other hand, you will be perhaps not feeling very well when you are surrounded suddenly with all this outstanding art and when the audience is not reacting very well to your art there will be disappointment so what successful artists are doing they are developing the art career step by step growing to their uh, success so the best thing you can do actually 
to make the decision what is the next move for you in the art market is to let go of this myth that you can should try everything and you are shooting right for the stars to the highest possible opportunity uh, there is out there but instead you are thinking really in milestone or stepping stone that are actually helping you and you are helping them let me show it uh, to you on this uh, graphic as you can imagine there are possibilities the, how the art market is, is built up it is starting really with the starter market this is the um, market for the amateur someone who is just starting after the uh, art university whatever this is the, the beginner marketing so to say then we have the primary market this is the market where actually uh, the art deals are happening and in the end you have the uh, secondary market this is the market where really the art business is done with blue chip uh, artists and so on and on the other side you have the possibility to exhibit your art uh, in your region national and international and out of this you have uh, certain clusters certain fields in which you can progress your uh, your artistic um, career you can perhaps stay in your own region and try to go from the starter market to the primary market to really become a more professional artist or you can decide from the starter market as an amateur to move from region to the national possibilities or even with the internet to really go as a, as a beginner directly into the international market of course this is a opportunity but most likely it is making sense to build it really step by step to try um, first to go to the private trade really to do all the things that are possible that are surrounding you with not much risk and not much obligation and then building this up you can go to the low trade then you are becoming more of an artist with with galleries and then you have some obligations and you are working together with people and so on and only this is preparing you actually for the high trade where you are going into the art auctions where you have a representative um, uh, uh, art agent and where you have uh, lawyers perhaps and you can go to the obligations that are necessary to exhibit your art in uh, actually a museum so we are positioning you step by step and all the possibilities that are opening you can actually put them in this in the sectors and then you can th think for yourself is this making sense at the point I am right now do I profit do my art profit from it and will this um, this, this uh, opportunity, this possibility where, ca where I can exhibit or perform my art, will it also profit from it or, or are, we, are we going in an unnecessary risk, something that will perhaps not work out for one of the sides and in this way you can answer to yourself what is the next, your next logical step to move your artistic career forward and this is making you your artistic work so much easier because then you are not going into the unnecessary risk of frustration or overwhelm you know what is the logical next step that you can actually do it can start as a beginner in a exhibition in a, in a bookstore or in a, in a shop that you are presenting that there are plenty because different peoples are coming inside and perhaps for one of the people is this uh, experiment of your artworks the right one and then you are you are getting the taste okay this is a possible client for this kind of art that I can do and then you can progress perhaps to a national group exhibition and there you can focus more your art more of an essence and you are knowing exactly that to this group exhibition a certain type of client audience is coming so we are preparing also a certain kind of art of your art for those clients and it will start to make much more sense and so you are going up in the ranks uh, up in the possibilities but instead of trying it all at once and then in the end you are doing nothing or you are so overwhelmed and so frustrating that you are just giving up you are moving steadily uh, forward from from the one thing to the next to the next 
and it is up to you what you are actually doing because you are actually the person that knows the best what is necessary to move your <coughs> to move your art uh, forward all i could uh, tell you is when you have opportunities right now just sit down and try to prioritize them in w what is making sense for you and what is making also sense for the other to take you on and to try to uh, develop a, a joint venture to, to reach uh, certain uh, goals and it is all about rethinking and positioning and thinking a little bit more logical and less as uh, some of the artists that are not uh, that I know are very egoistic and they want to see themselves in a certain light and then they are tr uh, try to take on certain possibilities and very often it is not uh, working out so be wise and be careful with with your art because it is it is making sense to put all the work into it to progress it steadily so in the end it is working out for you because your potential your your creativity is one of the most precious things and when you can build it up step by step by step it will uh, pay off in the end i hope this this model is uh, interesting for you of course there are other models to to, to explain what you can do actually to position yourself. This is one of the simplest and most effective ones. I hope it was interesting for you and I also hope to see you in my next video. Until then, see you soon. Bye bye.